Shalom and welcome to this episode of Ask Aviel. My name is Aviel. You can ask me questions so that we can share, learn and grow together. There are seven species that grow naturally in close proximity to one another in the land of Israel, providing essential nutrients to sustain life in the Holy Land. They consist of two grains and five fruits, wheat, barley, grapes, figs, pomegranates, olives and dates. Each of them has a vital and sacred meaning. The seven species have grown abundantly in the land of Israel for thousands of years and they are mentioned all throughout the scriptures as special produce of the land of Israel. Deuteronomy 8, 7-8 says, For Adonai your God is bringing you into a good land, a land of wadis with water, of springs and fountains flowing out in the valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, vines, figs, and pomegranates, a land of olive oil and honey. Today, I am going to talk about the fifth of the seven species, pomegranates. Pomegranates are widely cultivated throughout Israel. The fruit is round and red-purple in colour with a hard outer husk. The inner wall of the fruit is white and spongy and the seeds attach there. Seeds are contained inside chambers a thin membrane containing delicious refreshing juice and case each of the many seeds. In Exodus 28 verses 33 to 35, it is talking about the garments of the high priest. On the hem of it, you are to make pomegranates of blue, purple and scarlet all around the hem with golden bells between them, one golden bell and a pomegranate then another golden bell and a pomegranate. On the hem of the robe all around, it must be worn by Aaron whenever he ministers. Exodus 39 verses 24 to 26, they also made on the hem of the robe pomegranates of blue, purple, scarlet and twisted linen. Then they made bells of pure gold and put the bells between the pomegranates on the hem of the robe all around between the pomegranates, a bell and a pomegranate, then another bell and a pomegranate, all around on the hem of the robe to minister in as Adonai commanded Moses. What were all these pomegranates for? Chiskuni, a popular commentary on the Torah written by Hiskia ben Manoach stated that the purpose of the pomegranate was to produce sound when the bell hit it while the high priest was walking. Exodus 28 2. You are to make holy garments for your brother Aaron, for splendor and for beauty. You are to speak to all who are skilled, whom I have filled with a spirit of artistry, to make Aaron's garments for consecrating him, so that he may minister to me as a Kohen or priest. God specifically said that the garments of the high priest were for glory and for beauty. Ramban or Rabbi Moshe ben Nachman, a Jewish physician and philosopher said that the high priest was to be distinguished and glorified with garments of distinction and beauty. The high priest's garments were made of gold, blue purple and red purple which are all symbolic of royalty. It showed God's majesty in the kavod or glory and God's tiferet or splendor. The verse states that the people were to make holy garments for Aaron to minister in them to the glory of God who dwelt in their midst and to the splendor of their strength because God himself was the glory of their strength. Ovadia ben Jacob's Forno was an Italian rabbi, biblical commentator, philosopher and physician. Sforno said that the garments of the high priest should inspire awe among the Israelites. Therefore, the priestly garments had to be made with intention to render honour and glory to the Almighty. It would be evident when Aaron wore such resplendent garments to perform the temple service. Chaim ben Moshe ibn Atta, also known as the Or HaChaim, after his popular commentary on the Torah, agreed with the sages who held the opinion that the pomegranates were next to the golden bells. The Torah reports that these bells were placed in between the pomegranates on the hem of the robe of the high priest. Song of Solomon 4, 
verse 3 says of the Shulamite woman, the female protagonist of the song, Your temple is like a slice of pomegranate behind your veil. Song of Solomon 6 verse 7 describes her again, Your temple is like a slice of pomegranate behind your veil. What does that mean? The part of a woman's face near the eyes are like a pomegranate? Rashi or Rabbi Shlomo Yitzaki from France said, It is referring to her cheeks. It resembles the split half of a pomegranate from the outside, which is red and round. This is praise in terms of a woman's beauty. The rabbis explained that the beauty of a woman is when she is full of good deeds or mitzvot as a pomegranate's seeds. The sages say that the seeds of the pomegranate represent the 613 commands of God written in the scriptures. We remember that each of the white seeds of the pomegranate is encased in a membrane containing red juice. A woman's beauty is demonstrated when she is full of good deeds and pure thoughts of her mind washed by the blood of Messiah. May all the women reflect God's strength, splendor and beauty. May all the men render service unto God like the high priest, reflecting God's splendor in your strength. Thank you for joining me. I pray that this message inspires and challenges you. God bless you and your family. Shalom. Shalom.